I'm going to be reviewing this acrylic sealer. Now, this is from Aline's. I believe it's how it's pronounced. This is going to be a gloss finish, which means it's going to have a shiny finish. Now, this does come in a plastic uh, little baggie here, so I do do like that. So if, you know, it happens to bust open during shipping or something and it's in the box or something else, you don't have to worry about it getting all over everything else. So I definitely do like that. This is going to be an aerosol can, so you will need to shake it up before you use it, just like a traditional spray uh, can of, like, spray paint, something like that. So you're going to want to shake it up. And then once it's shaken up, then, of course, you can use it. So I actually have a piece of cardboard over here. I'm just going to test this out on it. Now, this is an aerosol can, so I probably wouldn't recommend using it inside. Let's see how it does with overspray. Yeah, so you're getting a good amount of overspray. You can see exactly where I was at. And, whoa, the fumes are strong on this as well. So definitely would recommend using this outside for anything that you're going to be sealing with this. Immediately after spraying this, the fumes came up towards me. You can smell it immediately here in my home. So definitely going to be something you're going to want to spray outside. Now, actual time for it to dry in between coats, typically for these sorts of things, is going to be 15 to 30 minutes. Let me see if this one says here on the can itself. Let's see. Two to three light coats is better than one heavy coat. All it says is allowed to dry. So it doesn't say exactly how long. Typically for these acrylic sealers that are done with an aerosol can, it'd be 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But of course, you can touch it to find out after you let it dry. So again, you're going to have overspraying issues. So I'm holding it here. I was getting some of this air on my finger here, whether any of the gloss actually did or not, I'm not sure. But again, then you can see on the cardboard how it got the most wet in the middle and then kind of spread out and there is some, some spattering around. So definitely something you're going to want to do outside. You're also probably going to get some overspray with this since it is in this aerosol can. So it's again going to, be going to be a downside maybe if you're doing something that has a bunch of different pieces you you will want to definitely carry it outside and not spray this inside so that is going to be a downside to having it come in the can however you don't have to smear it on like you will many other acrylic sealers that just come in like a container like a paint almost so that is an, a benefit to this just make sure that you're using it outside 